Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. My name is Dawn and welcome to my little art yard. <laughs> um, in case you have never met me before, this is where I do lots of my art classes for kids after school and on Saturday and weekend mornings. Um, but yes, today I'm here and actually every single Friday, I'm here to share with you a free Friday activity which you can do from the comfort of your home. In case you've missed out on the previous ones, they are all up online on my Instagram TV channel as well as on YouTube. And if you want to do more in-depth art lessons, I've got self-portrait lessons, learning how to draw just like Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. It's all up online. Um, I've got paint your very own bedroom, just like Vincent van Gogh. Um, and of course, I've got a whole bunch of art supplies, things like paints, paper, markers, which you can colour in with. So, so delicious, huh? The colours. Um, colour paper packs and stuff. They're all online. So, hop online, have a look if you're keen to try out any of my other art lessons or buy any of my art supplies or lessons and things. Um, any single, any little purchase goes towards helping me make more free videos like these ones for you guys. So yes, without further ado, let's start. So today, 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 we are going to make a very fun zoo using some exciting shapes. Now, I'm going to tell you what we need first and then we're going to start, okay? First thing first, we need a very thick piece of paper, okay? It's got to be thick so that when you paint, it doesn't tear. You have to have you got to use paint. Now, if you don't have paints, um, you can definitely use crayons or colored markers and things. But I like using paints. And if you're after paint sets like these, I definitely have them online. So have a look. They last a long time. Like these paint sets, they are like, I think six years old. And I use them every single week with the children that I teach. And they're still, whoa, lots left. So yeah, paints, paper. You need, of course, a paint brush. A pot of water, some paper towel or toilet paper to dry your brush so that it doesn't get too wet. You need a permanent marker, not too fat, not too thin, about this size will do. Or if you don't have a marker, just use a pen. And of course, you need some shapes. Now, these ones are special shapes that I have. I bought them because I teach a lot of art lessons with these shapes. Um, if you don't have shapes like these, look around your house. Look for things like, um, you, you can find anything with a shape, I guess. You can use things like Lego blocks. You can use, I don't know, paper towel rolls. You, you see, you can get circle from that. You can use cups. You can get circles. You can use cereal boxes. You can use all kinds of things. Find Look around the house to look for different things that you can use, you know, shapes with. Or even things like, I don't know, plates and you know, Tupperware lids and things. So look around, don't worry if you don't have shapes like that. Look through your toy cupboards and stuff. But if you're really lost and you don't really have things around the house that, you know, are small and, you know, you can use for drawing, you know what you can do? Get a piece of um, cardboard or even a cereal box and draw some shapes on it, cut them out, and there you go. You've got shapes made out of cardboard. So today we're going to use shapes and we're going to draw a zoo. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to the zoo, we're going to draw some fun animals We're going to make up our own animals using shapes So the animals are not really going to look like proper actual animals that you see at the zoo They're going to look a bit funny and a bit strange But that's the whole point, you're going to make it look exciting So what we're going to do is we're going to fill up the whole piece of paper with different different animals And then we're going to paint it It's going to be quite a fun activity because you're going to use your brains a lot And you're going to think, oh, what do I do? Maybe I can add a few of these shapes and I'm going to make a giraffe maybe so i'm gonna start and i'm gonna use maybe a hmm i'm gonna use aha uh -huh, shapes like that and i'm gonna draw a giraffe there you go that's the neck okay so that i'm not sure if you can see you're gonna trace around a shape so what you can do is you can spend some time arrange your shapes on the paper play around with your shapes, turn it here and there, and try and make an animal. And once you're happy with the animal or how it looks like, then you can start tracing over it and drawing it in. So what I've done is I've decided to draw the body, the neck, and the head of a giraffe. Ooh. 
Du, du, du. And of course, the giraffe needs legs as well. So I'm going to add maybe one little leg here. Du, 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 du. Another little leg there. Okay. Now, once I've done the body of my giraffe, I can push these shapes aside. There you go. This looks like a very, very weird giraffe. So it definitely needs some eyes and a nose and a tail and some spots on its body. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to draw some patches on its body. <laughs> I'm going to give it a tail. A bushy little tail, just like a paintbrush. I'm going to give it funny little things for the ears because they look like aliens. I don't know what they are. Like on the giraffes, if you look closely, they've got like those two little antenna things sticking out. Eyes, a nose, and a smile. I might even draw a leaf because it's eating some leaves. Da, 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 da. Oh, and I forgot, of course, my giraffe has to have some hair. Because if not, it looks a bit naked. So, some hair. Da, 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 da. There you go, my giraffe is done. Now, next animal, maybe I want to do... I know, a fish. Actually, I want to yeah, I'll use a circle. Da, 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 da. So, you don't have to draw it like super neat like all the animals in one line you can draw it anywhere you want some here some there your main idea is to fill up the entire paper with animals um see what you can do actually no i'm gonna draw a bird instead a very chubby bird with wings because i thought i was gonna draw a fish but then i changed my mind i want to draw a bird instead Gonna use semicircles and circles. So this is a very good exercise for really young children to think about your shapes. What shape is that? And then I can even draw little squiggly lines for the feathers on the wings. Do 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 do. There you go, my little bird. Okay, give it a tail first, actually. Giving it a tail. Hey, <laughs> my bird. So yeah, you can basically fill up the whole paper, add more different animals. What other animals can I add? Maybe I'll just add one more. Uh, I'm going to turn this triangle into... What should I turn it into? Mm. Mm. What should I turn it into? I'm running out of an idea. Any tips? What do you think this can be? Um... Um, I know. I'm going to turn it into... Actually, no. I'll use this. I'm going to turn it into a bat. Uh-huh. A bat like you see in Dracula movies. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> like in Hotel Transylvania. I actually like, quite like that movie. I think it's quite funny. There you go. A bat. And I'm going to give the bat a little nose. Some eyes. And maybe some fangs, even though I know bats don't have fangs. But it's okay. My little bat. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, so basically you can keep going and add all as many different animals as you can think of. I have done a sped up version. There you go. See whether or not you can see all my little animals. That's a fat hippo. That's a snake. That's a tortoise. That's a pelican. That's another bat. An elephant, see, using circles and rectangles and semicircles. Uh, I've done a fish. I've done a cockatoo with a very big mouth. I've even done a rabbit. So what you've done, what I've done is fill up the whole paper with as many animals as ca I can fit in. And once you are done with that, you are going to paint. Now, put the marker aside. Wet Mr. Brush. And you can start painting your animals. When you paint your animals, you can paint it any colour you want. You don't have to paint, for example, an elephant is grey and then I use grey. I'm going to give it blue today. I'm going to make my elephant blue because I'm feeling like using some blue. So you can use as many different colours as you want. You can, in fact, turn your little zoo into a rainbow animal zoo, I guess. A rainbow zoo filled with rainbow animals. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do some blue for the elephant. I'm even going to use some dark blue on the legs. 
and then I'm gonna wet my brush, pick up some light blue here, and I'm gonna blend it out. Do a bit of shading, make it fun. So you can basically keep going and paint up your entire picture. Take your time, don't rush, because like I always tell all the children that watch my little videos and even the adults that I teach, you know, I teach adults too, I always, always say when you're doing or when you're working on a piece, never ever rush. Because if you rush, you won't make your art look nice. It's just, you know, too messy. So take your time and paint it. But of course, when you take your time, don't, don't do it so slow like you're a snail as well. Because if not, you'll be 90 years old like a grandma and you're still painting. <laughs> so yeah, take your time. Work on your pieces at the at a nice little pace. Don't rush. If you're hungry, stop painting. Go grab a bit of a breakfast and then come back and paint again. Okay? Because you don't have to finish this whole art piece in one go. You can work on it, you know, throughout an entire day or even over an entire week. Okay? So that's what I'm actually going to do. I'm not going to sit here and speed paint all the way because I want to take my time and paint up a beautiful art piece so that I can share it with you guys at the very end of this class. Okay, at the very end of the video. Um, sorry, not at the end of the video, but after the video, I'm going to basically sit here and do it. And then I can put it up online so that you can see. Um, but yes, if you work on an art piece or any of my lessons and things online, please, 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 please take photos, send them to me because I absolutely love seeing what you guys create. And it's very interesting to see what everyone around the world does when they watch just one video. Everyone watches the same video, but yet everyone does it differently because everyone's art is so special. So yes, so if you've done... um an art piece or if you're working on this don't forget to share it with me so that i can share it with everyone else so that we can all have a look and see what you have painted so i'm gonna sit here and do it slowly i'm basically gonna paint all my little animals i'm gonna use all kinds of colors make it a rainbow zoo and once i finish painting all my animals i can use a very very dark color like maybe even a black okay i can use a black color and i can paint up only my background this way it looks like all the animals are dancing in the dark they're having a bit of a disco party and you know what the black does as well it doesn't just make it look cool like a disco party it also makes it um, it also gives the whole picture contrast if you don't know what contrast is ask mommy or daddy to explain it to you but contrast helps make an artwork look a lot better if you guys want to learn about art elements, things such as contrast, things such as cool colors, warm colors, um, different art elements such as line, shape, different kinds of shape, organic shapes, you know, um, geometric shapes, all the art elements and principles, things that make an artwork good, don't forget you can hop online and I've got this thing called my art elements booklet, which I'm actually going to show it to you online now if I can because... This video usually only allows me to do about 15 minutes of videoing. But I'm going to show you. I've got this little book online. So if you hop online to my website, www.dontan.com, there's this little thing, which is my very own book of art elements. I can't, well, I can't tap on the screen. But if you click on this, you'll be able to purchase a very, very good coloring book, which I put together with a lot of different... um things that you can colour in with and learn all about. It's a big book, about 36 pages long, which you can print out and you can learn all about art elements. So yes, um, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to continue working on this so that I can make sure that, you know, my picture is nice and colourful and I've got a black background and there's contrast. So I'm not going to rush and I'm going to continue doing this. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's art lesson. And if you have enjoyed this video please share please support me by buying some art supplies by buying some of my online lessons any little bit of purchase counts and it helps me make more free videos for you guys so thank you very much for joining in and i hope to see you guys next week bye bye